So welcome to my video on parabolas. A couple things that I want to go over before we get started with an example is I want to talk to you about the direction of which the parabola opens. Let's take a look at these equations here on the left. These are these are both equations in vertex form and notice how the y is on the left hand side of the equation. So these equations are written in terms of y, y equals something. So whenever the equation in vertex form has a y on the left hand side then we know that the parabola either points up or it points down and I graphed one pointing up and I graphed one pointing down and how do we know which which direction does it point? Does it point up? Does it point down? Then we have to look at this letter a. This is the constant in front of the parentheses. If the constant is positive it's going to open in the upward direction so that's why I wrote this equation in blue and I graphed the parabola in blue and it looks like it's pointing upward and if the a constant is negative then it's going to be pointed downwards that's why the purple equation and the purple graph is pointed downward alright so let's take a look at these sideways parabolas you know that it's going to be a sideways parabola if the equation is written in terms of x you have x on the left hand side and you have y on the right hand side and how do you know if it's pointing to the left? How do you know if it's pointing to the right? Once again, then, then you have to look at your a value. Your a is the value in front of your parentheses. If the a is positive, it's going to be opening to the right. And if your a is negative, it's going to be uh, opening to the left. That's why the blue equation, which has a positive a, is opening to the right. And the purple equation, which has a negative a, um, the graph is, is uh, opening to the left. Um, so that is my brief introduction. On, on parabolas. Uh, one more thing, uh, like, like I said before, these equations are written in vertex form. Uh, sometimes uh, the parabola could be written something that looks like this. You have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is what you call standard form. Uh, once again, the same rules apply since you have the equation written in terms of y then you know that the parabola is going to be pointed up or down and since your a value is positive then you know it's actually going to be uh, opening in the upward direction so this uh, equation that I just wrote for you if your a is positive then you know it's going to look something like this blue graph here um, on the left it's going to be opening uh, upward since your a is positive um, so that is my brief introduction. Let's just go ahead and dive right into an example. Here we have the parabola y equals negative one fourth multiplied by x minus one squared plus one. All right. So the first thing we want to do uh, when graphing a parabola is we want to find the vertex. The vertex is a really important piece of information that it's really useful if you graph this first. So before we even find our vertex we can actually figure out which direction that this parabola opens since it is a written in terms of y we know that it's going to be pointed up or down and since we know that our a is a negative value our a is negative one-fourth that means that we know that it's going to be pointed in the down, downward direction so before we even start this problem, we can we know that this is going to be a parabola that is pointed downwards. All right, but let's actually draw a accurate graph so we know exactly what this parabola looks like. All right, so going back, let's go, let's find our vertex. That's the first thing that we need to do is find our vertex. Um, here we have x minus one squared, and once again, our vertex is written in the form h and k. Our h is the x coordinate of our vertex and our k is the y coordinate of our vertex and our, our h is going to be our number next to our x since our number is a 1 that means our h is also going to be a 1 but it has the opposite sign so since it's a negative 1 it's going to be a positive 1. And our k is going to be exactly the same as the number outside of the parentheses. So since our k, um, so since this number is a positive one, then our k is also a positive one. All right, so now I'm just going to plot this point, 
positive 1, positive 1 on my graph. So let's go over to our graph. I'm going to go over to the right one unit, and I'm going to go up one unit. So here, at this point, we have our vertex. Once again, our vertex is the point positive 1, positive 1. So now that we've plotted our vertex, we just need to plot some other points on this parabola just so we can draw an accurate graph. So you can pick any points that you want. What I like to do is I like to pick one point to the right of the vertex and one point to the left of the vertex. So I'm going to pick first one point to the right of the vertex. So since our x value is 1 for the vertex, any, any number greater than 1 is, uh, is to the right of the vertex. And I like to pick a number that's going to give me a y value that's nice. So I'm going to pick an x value of 3 because that's, uh, that's going to give me a nice y value. So let's see what our y value is if we plug in a value of 3 for x. Going back to our original equation, we have y is equal to negative 1 fourth multiplied by x minus 1. And once again, we're plugging in a 3 for x to see what our y value is. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write a positive 3. So we have a positive 3 for x. And this is being subtracted by 1. All of this is squared. And, all, and then we have a plus 1 outside of the parentheses. All right, so we plugged in a 3 for x. And now let's see what our y value is. If we, if we uh, do our order of operations, we have to do the inside of the parentheses first. We have 3 minus 1, which is 2. Um, then we have the exponent, we have, which is 2 squared. So 2 squared is equal to 4. Then if we multiply that 4 by the negative 1 fourth that's in the front, uh, 4 times negative 1 fourth is a negative 1. And then if we add negative 1 with our positive 1, then we get a value of 0. So if we plug a value of 3 in for x, then we get a y value of 0. All right, so now let's point, plot this point on our graph. That means we're going to go to the right three units and up or down zero units. So we have the point 3, 0. And let's take a look at this point. Notice how this point is two units to the right of the, of the vertex and one unit down. So the same thing is going to happen if we go to the left. If we go to the to the left two units, we're also going to go down two units. So we went to the right two, down one. If we go to the left two, we also go down one. Um, so I'm going to go to the left one, two, and down one. And this point is to the left one unit, and our y value is zero. So this, this point would be negative one, zero. So let's double check this point, negative 1, 0. We'll plug in negative 1 for x to show you that you get a y value of 0. So once again, we're going to plug in a value for negative 1 for x. So instead of x minus 1 squared, we're going to have negative 1 minus 1 squared plus 1. And once again, order of operations, we have to do inside the parentheses. Negative 1 minus 1 is a negative 2. A negative 2 squared is a positive 4. Positive 4 multiplied by negative 1 fourth, negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, so if we plugged in a negative 1 for x, we get a value of 0 for y. So that verifies our point negative 1, 0. All right, so now that we have plotted our vertex and we plotted our point to the right and plotted our point to the left, now we can draw a semi-accurate graph of our parabola. So you're going to start at your, at your vertex and you're going to draw a curve line going through your point on the right. Once again, you want to start at your vertex and draw a curve line going through the point on the left. And a couple more things that your homework might ask you to find. If they ask you to find the axis of symmetry, uh, the axis of symmetry is just a line that's going directly through the center of the parabola. So this, once again, this is our axis of symmetry. All right, and notice how every value for this, uh, or sorry, every coordinate 
on this line, the x value is a positive one for every coordinate on this line, so we know that the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals one. So one more thing that your homework might ask you to find is your focus. So the formula that we use to find our focus is P is equal to 1 over 4A. And your P is your distance from your vertex to your focus. All right, once again, P is the distance from the vertex to your focus. All right. So our P is equal to 1 over 4 times A, and our A, once again, is the number in front of the parentheses, it's negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to plug in a negative 1 fourth for A. Sorry that my handwriting is so sloppy. So we have a 1 in our numerator, and we have 4 times negative 1 fourth in our denominator, which is negative 1. So our P is 1 over negative 1, which is just negative one. So that is our distance from our vertex to our focus. So let's, uh, since it's a negative number, negative one, we know it's going to go down. All right. So our distance from, so we're going to start at our vertex, and our distance is negative one. So we're going to go down one unit. So if we go down one unit. That is the point positive 1, and our y value is 0, because we go over to the right one unit, and it is on the x-axis, so our y-coordinate is 0. So that is the, the coordinate for our focus. Notice how it is one unit down from our, from our vertex. Our p-value is a negative 1. So I think that pretty much covers everything. I hope you have a better idea of parabolas at this point. Uh, there are a few more examples that might be a little different. I'll be making more in the future. I also have videos on ellipses and hyperbolas as well. So make sure you look for those. And hope you enjoyed this. And until my next one, I will see you later.